Does your takeaway look like this? Where your head moves a foot off the ball, or do you even know? This is what's even more scary to me, is if you don't know that your head's moving a foot off the ball. Most golfers, especially amateur, the higher handicap they have, the more their head moves off the ball during the backswing, during the takeaway. And the reason for this is very, very simple. If you're pushing from the left side, your head will always move off the ball. A push, as I've talked about in my push versus pull videos, you can watch that here, your pushing is always going to move you away from the force of movement or away from center. In this case, center is being our spine and our head that's centered here. And as we start pushing our body from the lead side, our head wants to move off the ball. Now, if I did the opposite and I pulled from the right side, look what happens. What's, doing, what's my head doing? Nothing, because I'm pulling towards center. I'm taking my right shoulder and pulling it in towards my spine. That's how rotary swing teaches you a takeaway that's centered. But if you don't understand that and you just keep trying to position the club or pushing from the left side, because that's what we want to do. Typically, we want to push during the swing because it feels better. It feels more powerful. But the pros don't do that. They pull their right shoulder behind their head and that's what keeps their head nice and centered. Amateurs do the opposite. They push. That gives you a flat shoulder turn. So when you look at it from down the line, it's not just that your head's moving off the ball, but watch what happens to my shoulder turn. Look how flat it is. How's this gonna work? It's nowhere near matching my spine angle. So now all of a sudden I've got this, my head's moving, the club's going inside, and then I'm gonna hit, pick the club up and hope I can swing across and I hope I aimed far enough left for my big banana slice. If you don't wanna do that, you have to understand this concept of pushing from the left side and why it's destroying your golf swing and making it 10 times harder than it needs to be. So today's bonus video is all about understanding pushing from the left versus pulling from the right and all the problems it's gonna cause in your swing. So make sure you click the link, the I card or link in the description and take a look at this bonus video because it's going to show you why your head's moving off the ball and how to fix it once and for all. Make sure you click subscribe down below and click that little bell next to it and you'll get notified every time we publish a new video on YouTube. Hi, I'm Chuck Quinton, founder of Rotary Swing Golf. When I developed Rotary Swing, it was all about getting an objective view of the golf swing based on biomechanics, physics, and anatomy, and how the brain learns new movement patterns. And in doing so, I took a tremendous amount of time researching these different aspects of the swing to come up with a very objective and black and white view of the swing. And one of these things I wanna talk about is the physics perspective. And I'm gonna use my awesome little toy truck here to give you a really clear picture of a concept that we use a lot, which is pushing versus pulling in the golf swing. Now, I'm certain that you've never seen, and if you have, I'd love to see a video of it, of a truck pushing a trailer down the road. Obviously, this would be very difficult to control. If you've ever tried to back up a trailer, you know how easy it is to get the, truck, the trailer moving in a different direction all the time, anytime you're pushing it. But now what happens when you change that and you pull it down the highway, which is how you see all cars going down the highway when they're pulling a trailer? The trailer follows in a perfect straight line behind the truck the entire time. With no effort on the driver, he just pushes the pedal and it goes straight in a straight line. When you're pushing something, it tends to move offline. Why is that? Well, the reason is you need to line up the force of movement, which in this case is the truck that's moving the trailer. The trailer's not going to move itself. So the force of movement coming from the truck must line up perfectly with the center of gravity of the trailer. If it's just off to the side slightly, this trailer will rotate around its center of gravity and it will move it offline and it will not be able to track in a straight line. Believe it or not, this is a perfect example of how you should swing a golf club and why it's so difficult for most amateurs to swing a golf club. The reality is that most amateurs, because they're right-handed but playing from the left side of the golf ball, tend to use their dominant hand, which is their right hand of course, to push the club into impact. It feels more powerful, but it actually creates more problems in the golf swing. So now let's go and take a look at it with a golf club in the hand and take a look at what this pushing and pulling looks like in the golf swing. Now let's take a look at this push versus pull concept with a golf club in our hands. 